Julian Alfred just shocked the world by beating Shakari Richardson over 100 meters, and we're going to delve into it right now. Shakari Richardson has been in electric form so far this season, having recorded the second fastest women's 100 meter time in the world this year, with an extremely impressive 10.71 seconds performance, narrowly trailing Sharika Jackson's world leading time of 10.65 seconds. To make this accomplishment even more impressive, Shakari Richardson achieved this with a tailwind of just 0.1 meters per second, which is negligible when compared with many of the other fastest times in the world this season. To put into perspective just how fast Shakari Richardson has been this year, she actually clocked 100 meters in 10.57 seconds at the Miramar Invitational earlier on this year. This time is actually eight one-hundredths of a second quicker than anybody else this year. However, it was completed with an unfair tailwind advantage of 4.1 meters per second, meaning this performance doesn't count towards any records. As a result of these tremendous accomplishments, Shakari Richardson heads into the 2023 World Championships as one of the favorites to come away victorious in the highly contested 100-meter race, alongside the likes of Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. Therefore, as the Gulai Istvan Memorial approached, Shakari Richardson was rightfully marketed as the clear favorite to take home the gold medal in the 100 meters. But another remarkable talent awaited her on the track, Julian Alfred. Julian Alfred, a 22-year-old sprinter from St. Lucia, has already made a name for herself at collegiate level, winning five NCAA titles and securing a second-place finish over 200 meters at the 2022 Commonwealth Games. And her unbelievable talent hasn't gone unnoticed, as she was recently named one of the finalists for the 2023 Bowerman Award. Despite these phenomenal achievements, the Gulai Istvan Memorial would be Julian Alfred's professional debut, but little did anyone know the impact she was about to make. As the race began, Julian Alfred displayed incredible acceleration out of the blocks, taking an early lead on Shakari Richardson. It was reminiscent of the 100-meter sprint at the Silesia Diamond League, where Sharika Jackson took the lead in the early stages of the race. However, unlike the Silesia Diamond League performance, Julian Alfred's lead proved too substantial for Richardson to close down. And although Shakari made a strong push towards the end, Julian Alfred held on for first place, crossing the finish line with an immensely impressive time of 10.89 seconds, while Shakari Richardson, arguably currently the world's best sprinter, crossed the line in second with a time of 10.97 seconds. This remarkable performance from Julian Alfred has well and truly announced her as a force to be reckoned with in the world of sprinting. As we approach the 2023 World Championships, all eyes will be on Julian as she competes on the world's biggest stage, possibly in both the 100 and 200 meters. And after this encounter, I'm sure Shakari Richardson won't be looking forward to when they meet again in Budapest. Although I would love to see Julian Alfred competing for medals at the World Championships, I think this may be a few years too soon, and I still expect the likes of Sherika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, and Shakari Richardson to all once again up their game and provide a thrilling race. But I want to know what you think. Who will come away victorious in the women's 100 meters at the World Championships? Will the big names deliver, or will Julian Alfred once again shock us all? Let me know in the comments down below.